Well, hello there, friends. A lot of you have asked me to prepare a cannelloni. I'm doing it the way my ma and my grandmother used to make it, with a crepe. You see, it's not just the French people they use a the crepe. <laughs> I'm gonna make it a delicious bolognese sauce with a mornay sauce. Those two together, oh, they're amazing. Very easy to make. Takes a little while, but it's easy to make. Friends, I hope you make it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to ring the bell. Stay tuned. We're making cannelloni together right now. Okay, I got a head start. Because some of the stuff I do takes a long time. Basically what it is, friends, the way my grandmother used to make it, she would wrap a bolognese sauce with a crepe and then put a morne sauce on top. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Okay, we're going to put it in the crepe. So first we're going to make the bolognese sauce. Now, it's something you, when you make a bolognese sauce, friends, when I make a bolognese sauce, I make a lot. Like right now, I got a lot. I got two pounds of sausage right there. Then I sauteed it. And the secret is what I'm doing right now. This takes a good 15, 20 minutes. The 20 minutes comfortably, folks. You take a, a, a big fry pan and you take a wooden spoon or, or a stainless steel spoon, whatever it is you do, and then you break it up, break it up, break it up. It's something you must do and you create a nice Maillard reaction. And this is what we're doing right here. You see all that beautiful color right there, friend? This is flavor. We're gonna put everything in a pot, but it's easier if I do it in two fry pans. You could do it in the same. In this pot right there, I got uh, 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 one big onion. It was about two cup of onion. I got about uh, two cup of celery that I cut in very small uh, uh, dice. I got uh, a two cup of carrot that I cut in very small dice. Okay? And, uh, and we're gonna put those together we're gonna sweat them for a minute, and then we're gonna put everything in the same pot and cook, it's nothing. But when you make this sauce, friends, by all means, make sure when you make this sauce, you, um, you make a lot, because it freezes beautiful. You can freeze it for 17 years, approximately, okay? No, no, really, you can freeze it a long time. Don't make a little batch, no. I'm making it with spicy Italian sausage. You don't have to make it with spicy Italian sausage. I keep losing some over there, you notice that? It keeps coming out of my pot. Uh, you can make it with the ground beef. You can make it with ground beef. You can make it with, uh, with um, uh, anything you want, really. I mean, ground lamb. You can do whatever you want. But I like it with a spicy Italian sausage. Make it with whatever you want. It doesn't matter. All right? So, the meat is ready to go. I'm going to relax the meat. And then I'm going to put all the ingredients in it. Piece of cake. Garlic. Remember, we put the garlic. When do we put the garlic? You all know it. When you get ready to put a liquid, so I got garlic, I got two tablespoons of chopped garlic. This is a big batch, remember, you can cut it in half, but by why? Like I say, you can freeze it, okay? Now, how long do you cook the garlic? Until you can smell it. And, and the minute you put it in, it's starting to release this amazing fragrance, right? I love it. I love the smell of garlic. All right, so now look, friends, I got... Uh, fresh thyme, I'm going to put about a, a tablespoon of fresh thyme. I got a tablespoon of rosemary, tablespoon of rosemary. All right, you can put whatever you want. You can put some herbs de Provence. You can put whatever herbs you want. You can put basil in there. I make it the way my grandmother used to make it. And that's the way she made it. So I'm going to make it exactly the way she used to make it. And it's, it's, that's me. I made already a bolognese sauce on the channel. I didn't put the carrots and the celery because sometimes I don't put it in there. I can smell the garlic, so the minute you smell the garlic, what do you do? Put your tomatoes in there. I got two 28-ounce cans of La Valle tomatoes. Two 28-count, uh, um, uh, two 28 ounces. And I'll, I'll give you the recipe in, uh, in metrics as well. And we're gonna cook this, right? And then we're gonna put, this is um, one cup of tomato paste, okay, because I don't want the sauce to be too liquid. One cup, that's a lot, but, okay, if you have a good tomato puree, you can use a good tomato puree, but most tomato puree today are very liquid, right, you notice? All right, so that's it right there, friends, we're gonna put this in there, we're gonna adjust salt and pepper, we're gonna cook this very low, 
we're going to cook it very low for at least 45 minutes to an hour. Maybe an hour and a half. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I would say uh, 45 minutes to an hour. That's it. I got tomato paste on my fingers. Okay, friends. I'm going to break this up just a little bit. And um, a little bit more. See, it needs to be broken just a little more. But this is what I'm looking for right here, friends. You see? Jack is going to show it to you. Can you see it right there, Jack? Can you see that? Right there, right? That's what I want. This is what you want right there. I'm going to put all this in the pot. And I'm going to cook it very slowly. Bloop, 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 bloop. Slowly, 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 slowly. You don't want to big bubbles, okay? And uh, no cover. Let the acidity out of the tomatoes. And uh, we're going to cook, cook this up. And uh, come back when it's ready. We're going to make the crepe. And then we're going to make the morning sauce that we're going to put on top, and I'll put the whole thing together. So I'll be back when this is almost finished. All right? I'll be back. We're going to make crepes. Okay, friends. We're now going to make the crepes. We got the pan at about, um, you need the pan about 300, 300 and a quarter. And, um, and, uh, and I got a little uh, uh, melted butter. You just put a little butter in there. Whole butter. No, not clarify butter. Just whole butter. And then we're going to take the, a ladle. We have a three-ounce ladle. And then we're going to put it in. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very simple, okay? Make sure you get a three-ounce ladle. And, uh, and then you put it in the, middle, uh, in the middle of the pan. And then you, you keep going around. Keep going around. Go slowly. Go slowly. There's no rush. Go slowly. Go slowly. And then as you, put the, as you pour the butter... You're going to go around and go around and go around. You see the way I'm going around? And that's it. The ladle is empty. All right? And make sure your butter is, is, is equally dispensed all over the place so it's nice and smooth. Right? And then what we're going to do, we're going to take a little bit more of the butter. And we're going to put between the pan, the top of the pan, and the crepe. But we don't touch the crepe. We don't touch the crepe. See? We just go like this. All right? And what that does, that allows a little bit of butter to go underneath. And it's very simple. Also, make sure you get a fry pan that is as rounded edge, not, not like this guy. See, this square, and it's very difficult to make crepes in it. You know what I do? I have a pan that I just save for crepes. All right? It's really no big deal. Now we want to flip it. It's very simple. You're going to want to do now is you want to feel the crepe, feel it, feel it, feel it, and then yank it. Yank it hard and voila. And, and if it gets messed up a little bit, oh, here you go. Put it back in there. No problem. All right, look. It's very simple to make, right? Remember, you put a little more butter. Don't be afraid. More butter is always better. <laughs> and then, so remember what I did, right? You take it, you flip it hard. And if it doesn't fall good, make it fall again. It's not that big of a deal. Friends, you can make it. Remember, you make them in advance. And then one more thing I'll show you. When we put them in, we take them. We put it like that on top of each other, no paper, no nothing. When you finish making your stack, you put a plastic wrap around it, okay? A plastic wrap around immediately so they stay nice and moist, otherwise they're going to dry out on you, okay? That's all you need to do. We'll be back, we'll make the sauce, the final sauce. Okay, well, we're almost at the end, friends. Now what I got to do is make a little sauce to go on top. And, um, and, uh, and then I'm going to show you how to fold them and everything. So I got uh, four ounces of, uh, of uh, no, no, I got two ounces, <laughs> two ounces of butter and, uh, and a half a cup of flour. I'm making a little bit of the, uh, of the Mornay sauce, very little, a little batch uh, to, for this little dish right there. Then it's uh, for four crepes and uh, four crepes depends if it's an appetizer. It could be uh, four appetizers if it's a, uh, a lunch or, or a main course, and it could be two servings. It's up to you. You have enough bolognese to make 27. I, I don't know how many, but you got a lot. Okay, I took a little bit of the bolognese. I put it in a lasagna pan. I put it in the fridge to let it cool a little bit, just a little bit. It's still warm, but it's easier to handle if it's a little warm. Okay, so look, the roux, you want to cook it just a little bit. Uh, you, you just want to cook a little bit. You don't want to let it get too dark, otherwise your sauce is going to be beige instead of white. All right, but we're going to put some cheddar anyway. I have some beautiful English cheddar. You know, I love that English cheddar. We're going to put that in there. So we got a little milk in there, and, uh, and we're going to cook this up. We're going to have a nice texture. Then we're going to put some beautiful cheese. I got uh, uh, English cheddar. I got some mozzarella cheese. 
You can put any cheese you want in here, friends. You could put brie cheese, you could put goat cheese, you could put any any cheese you like, any cheese you like. This is really up to you. I mean, I love making it with goat cheese, you know, a nice creamy goat. It's delicious. <laughs> Some of you are going, hey, a lot of people don't like goat cheese. I, I like just about every cheese. You know, uh, I don't know about every cheese, but I like a lot of cheese. I think cheese are good for you. So I got the crepe ready right there. I'm going to show you how to fold it. We're going to cook this for a second. I just want to get the right texture, you see? This is not a complicated sauce, friends. It's up to you, quantity-wise, what you put in here. You know, a lot of people just measure, measure. This is not something you measure. You look at it. And you look at it and you go, okay, is it thick enough? And it looks like it. So for now, uh, we're not going to put any more milk. And if it gets too thick, guess what? We got some more right here. And then also at the end, I'm gonna put a little bit of heavy whipping cream. Just a little bit. And then butter. <laughs> All right, so look, we're looking good. Very simple. Nothing to it. See, look, look, it'll be nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. A little more milk. And that was a cup of milk. And uh, we're probably gonna need to add some cream and I got it right there, you see friends? I got it right there. I wanted this to be smooth. Smooth, 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 okay? It's all about texture, remember? The, te the texture, the conductor of flavor. Don't forget, don't forget, okay? And this is not as so smooth as I want. I'm gonna put the cheese in there now. This is uh, the five ounces of cheddar. This beautiful English cheddar that I get. Put whatever cheese you want, right? And, uh, and a little bit of mozzarella. And then the, the rest of it, we're going to put it on top, okay? So you could put Gruyere in there. It'll be delicious. Um, Gruyere is delicious. Oh, yeah. Gruyere is delicious on anything. And then I'm going to show you, in case it doesn't get nice and smooth for you, we, we have always a, a tool to use in case it's not smooth, okay? But it's going to get smooth. You just got to get a little cheese melt, okay? Salt and pepper. Measure carefully. My mom would say, you never put black pepper in a Mornay sauce. And she was right, except I just don't like that white pepper. Do you like that white pepper? I don't like it. So a little black speck in here. Mom, I hope she's sleeping. <laughs> I hope she's sleeping because she's like, oh, no, no, you can't have it. My mom was an amazing chef. God bless her. Look, a little bit of a, uh, may she rest in peace. Friends, a little bit of nutmeg, okay? Don't forget, folks, you only got one mom. We're gonna take care of it. A little nutmeg, eh? Just a little bit. Look, 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 look. Do you like it? I like it. It's looking good. And you see, I told you it was gonna get smooth as silk. In case it didn't, because you know, it could happen. Use one of those. <laughs> Trust me, it'll get smooth. You see, look, look. You like it? Look how beautiful that is, friends. Look at this. Look at it. I'm probably showing the wrong camera, but Jack is on it. Look, 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 look. Look how beautiful that is. You see it right there, Jack? It's beautiful, isn't it? Look at this. All right, friends. I'm not going to cook it too much because it's going to continue cooking in the oven. I'm just going to test it to make sure it's, uh, it's properly seasoned. Oh, wow. You know, it, out of all sauces, I make millions of sauces in 50 years in the kitchen. I've made so many sauces. This is still one of my favorite ones. One of the most simple ones. One of the mother sauces. Who knows? Oh, let me get the, uh, the uh, bolognese sauce. I want to show you. Is that good right there, Jack? Right. So, I got the crepe right there. I'm going to fold it like you fold a, um, uh, what do you call those Mexican thing? Then um, I don't know if it's the Mexican or Spanish thing, the do burrito, burrito. I did one on the channel. That's a delicious. I love Mexican cuisine. There's such a rich culture. The flavoring is incredible. Don't put too much here, friends, okay? Don't put too much. You're going to fold it like this. Now, it's very important in this. Friends, is straight. You'll understand why in a minute. See this? Straight. Okay? And don't leave it some room. Leave it straight. No, no like this. <laughs> no like this. 
<laughs> my English is getting better, as you can see. So look, look, you take it. You, you keep your fingers there, see? Look, you're using all your fingers. Put it right on top like this, and then roll it. Roll it. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. And voila. <laughs> They're gorgeous. You take it, put it right there. That's it. All right, make sure you give it a little room to breathe. Oh, by the way, I didn't tell you that. I do things that I'm telling you sometimes. I put a little butter in a lasagna pan underneath. Okay, so, and then we're going to put this the beautiful Mornay sauce on top and more cheese. <laughs> I mean, these friends, if you have a dinner party, you can make it all in advance. Really, everything. Make it all in advance. It's ready to go. Now you can put the whole top of it, cover the whole thing. You can put a lot, you can put little. It's up to you how much you put in. Okay, I like a lot. But put as much or as little as you want, friends. No matter what, you know it's gonna be delicious. And we're gonna top it with more cheese. And this is gonna be delicious. All right, so you see I made just enough sauce for four appetizer serving or two lunches or main course. It's up to you, friends. All right, so here you have it. I'm going to put this in the oven. I got an oven at 375, and I'll come back when it's beautiful golden brown. I'll see you in a minute, friends. Okay, I'm hungry. <laughs> Uh, I got a little bit of chopped uh, fresh parsley we can put on top of it. Okay, for whatever. Okay, yes. But this is something you, you're you going to have to plate no matter what. You got to just put it on the plate. So what I do is I cut a little bit of the sauce. And um, we're probably going to have to do a, another thumbnail for the, uh, for the video. Take it out. It's not an egg. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do you think? I think it looks amazing. Put this right here. I think it looks amazing and it's going to be delicious. I'm going to go right in there and uh, and see? Nice, beautiful. And, uh, and, you know, those two sauces together. The Bolognese and the Mornay, they were met to be together, I'm telling you. The, 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 you, 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 you try them together. This is why we like lasagna so much. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. oh let me tell you. Mm. With a crepe in it, it's fabulous. Look, that, that, that makes a nice appetizer, you know, okay? And for a main course, too, oh, oh, you'll be full. So, you got an idea, friends. This is something you got to make. And you know what I love about it the most? Make it all in advance. Put the cheese in it, wrap it up, put it in the fridge. Tomorrow, you want to serve lunch, say, oh, I'll make you a little cannelloni. <laughs> Go in the kitchen, put it in the oven, warm it up. Put it under the boiler maybe for a second to get a nice color. And you got yourself a beautiful cannelloni. Friends, I hope you make it. Remember, thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring the bell. Thanks for watching, friends. Whew, that was delicious. Well, why don't you taste those two sauces together, Jack? Mm. Oh, mmm. Yeah. It's too hot. Oh, mmm. Yeah. This is like eating a lasagna. I'm telling you, all the flavor together, the crepe is like a pasta. This is fabulous. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Why? Well, there's three of them for you right here. So, <laughs> it's delicious. Oh, well, I hope I don't make too much of a mess. Mmm. Wow. Delicious. Mmm.